Try and win to do common drop AML is a detection that you may notice after running a certain program. It refers to a specific action rather than a whole malware or a program, so there is a possibility of it being a false positive detection. In this video, I will explain what this detection is about, whether it is dangerous or false, and how to remove it. So, let's start with figuring out what the Try and Win to do common drop AML detection means. The quick research shows that it refers to a part of networking operations done by a certain program. More specifically, the check for the system's IP address. Malicious programs do this to fingerprint the systems they are running in, and also to prevent attacking users from certain countries. For the type of malware that may be flagged with that detection, there are no real boundaries, as nearly all viruses do check IP addresses these days. Judging by the symptoms will be much more accurate. Seeing your online accounts hijacked is a definite sign of spyware activity. Seeing unreasonably high CPU consumption means that you have probably got a coin mine malware. When your internet connection suddenly feels too slow and you see random console windows appearing out of nowhere, chances are the system is infected with a backdoor. Despite how different these viruses are, all of them may be flagged with common drop detection. Nonetheless, as I have mentioned earlier, this detection is not always about a real threat, and there is a high chance of false positive detection. As it comes from the AI detection system of Microsoft Defender, which is hinted by the ML suffix at the end, there is a chance that the detection is nothing but AI misunderstanding what is happening in the system. It is particularly possible with handcrafted PowerShell scripts or utilities that feature the mentioned networking behavior. If you see the genuine and trusted program detected with that name, then you can just relax, nothing threatens your system at the moment. But that is not the end, and you may still need to remove the try and win to common drop AML from the computer. Microsoft Defender can show a legit PowerShell instance or an innocent blog file as an affected file in the detection, which is not enough to understand the origins and danger levels. And to get the second qualified opinion on whether your system is safe or not, I recommend using Gridensoft Anti-Malware, a lightweight and easy-to-use malware removal utility that will detect any malicious or unwanted program, regardless of how well they hide in the system and which commands they use. Download it by the link in the video description and run a full scan. This way the program will get through every single file in the system, it will take around 15 minutes. After the scan, click the Clean Now button to remove the detected malicious files. If the scan shows that there is no malware, then you have likely faced a false positive detection. In any case, good luck and stay safe online.